Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Thank you so much for joining me for today's build, uh, enclosure build. Uh, so you can see the animals behind me, you can probably guess what we're going to be doing today. So that's right, I thought we would take a bit of a break from the lake that we've been doing over the last few episodes and we'd come back to the main part of the zoo and we'd build uh, an enclosure for the Kentosaurs that we tamed up a few episodes ago now. Um, so uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. Now what I thought I would do is I would attach it to the uh, Calicotherium and the the uh, die wolf enclosure and we'll have it out the back here so uh, in actual fact what I will probably do is build another enclosure uh, in another episode uh, over this way and actually make this a four animal enclosure I think and this how does this look over this side actually you know what I probably won't because um, it's a slightly different kind of a, a facing on this point so yeah actually forget forget that we'll just build the one on this side for the Kentrosaurs and I think that will make this sort of complete uh, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is building out the fence. Now what I'm planning on doing is uh, having metal railings coming out this side um, to match kind of uh, this side, you know, with the, the iguanodons. Um, and at the back over this side we'll have a kind of enclosure uh, shelter place for the Kentrosaurs to, to go similar to what we've done with the Galactherium and the Direwolf. We'll have something a little bit like this. Uh, but we'll have it over that side uh, for the control. So that's what we're going to be doing. So I think what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to uh, get the railings placed and sort of uh, get the, the outline of the enclosure built. And once I've done that, then I will bring you guys back. So I just want to say, uh, again, once again, thank you for coming and checking out the video. If you find that you like this video, please do let me know that you like it by hitting the like button and leaving a comment. That would be so good. I really do appreciate everything like that. So, OK, I will see you in just a few moments. Okay guys, so that's pretty simple. I uh, just build out a wall f um, attaching onto the wall side here. It hasn't snapped, I just kind of eyeballed it. There was no kind of snap points. Um, and also I've used the fence foundations, um, sorry, the fence supports rather than the foundations. Uh, if you saw the last few episodes, you know that um, I haven't been able to use these over by the lake because of the way that the lake goes. Um, but over here it's been absolutely fine. And this gives us a really nice kind of flat uh, top for the railings um, rather than say over here which is I've used the normal fence foundations and you get kind of a messy uh, sort of sloped kind of wall like that for the railings so it looks it looks a lot better when you are able to use them uh, so that's fine so um, I think this is kind of a decent kind of area it kind of fits in well with the, the other kind of size areas that we've got for the other two uh, animals over there and uh, yeah so I think what we need to do is start building some foundations and things and we'll get a little kind of a hut going and um, look something uh, make it look as nice as we can. So I've got some uh, wooden foundations. We're going to be building out of wood, I think, at this point. Um, so again, there's going to be no sort of real snap points, so we just kind of need to sort of make it fit uh, reasonably well. That'll do for me. Uh, so what we're going to do, I haven't really thought about this through. We're kind of building as we go along. That's how I always like to do it. We're going to go uh, go all the way along. Let's see how far do we want to go. We'll, we'll start sticking them in, and we'll see how it goes. We, we can actually stack these S+. Plus. Um, foundation so we can kind of make it a little bit um, so that it can go into the ground so we don't get these massive gaps going underneath which is going to look really really nice okay so we've come close to there we don't really want to go any further than that uh, because we're going to start interfering with the kind of the cafe area here uh, if you haven't see, if you didn't see this episode when we built this one let me have a quick look in here and show you what this looks like inside uh, this is absolutely fantastic place that I had uh, tag from tagback TV uh, came over and was a guest builder for this episode and he kind of built all this and did a fantastic job so definitely go check out his channel if you haven't already um, and yeah so that's that so uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna end that there and then I guess what I'll put put in a few more railings here just to kind of block off this point. Uh, so we're going to want some uh, ramps coming down here so the dinos can get up there, but uh, we'll start going back a little bit further. Um, we've got some triangle stuff which we can mess around with in a bit. Uh, but let's... oh. There. Where did that one other go? I think that just went underneath. Yeah, I think that's fine. And then we can go... Uh, oh, I've run out. Okay, so uh, yeah, we'll get some of that in a moment. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do is go a little bit further back. Um, Let's give them plenty of space. We need to build up some walls and things. Yeah, I think it's going to look pretty good. Let me grab some more foundations. Okay, I've got a few more. Let's uh, continue on here. We want to build up. Yeah, that is snapping. That's good. And oops, come on, like that. Oh, come on, snap. Oh, come on, <laughs> come on, snap. Almost there. No. 
Oh no, come on, what did you go there for? Oh no. Uh, oh yeah, there's the, they've changed the menus as well, look at this. Instead of a timer, it does that, that's amazing. That actually looks pretty cool, I like that. Right, come on, let's try and get this in this, the position. Come on. I'm not even, I'm not hitting the right one, that's why. Okay, so... Oh, we're so close, that's where we want it. Oh my god, come on. Yes, no, yes, no, come on, back a bit. Yes, we got it! Oh, fantastic. Oh, they've done something that was supposed to be make stacking foundations easier, um, but it's still a little bit tricky. Okay, so that's a good basis. I think we need to go further back one more, maybe even more, because I do have a slight idea for what I want it to look like, and something for the visitors as well. Come on, that's right. Have we done it? We done it? <laughs> so I'm thinking of having an area where the visitors can actually walk up into this point and look in at the uh, the the entrance there, or you know, sorry, the, the shelter there. So that's something we might think about. So we may even need to go further back by one more as well. How deep do the? Let's go and have a quick fly over to uh, the Calicotherium, and we'll just have a look and see how this is done. So it's it's a slightly different. Uh, yeah, and it goes back one. So I think actually. They've got a space of three deep and a couple wide on each one. So that's not too bad at all. While we're over here, actually, the Calico Theorem. Now, if you saw the last episode or the last couple of episodes, the way that I name my creatures is I name them after people who uh, subscribe to the channel or watch the videos and they like these dinos named after them. And uh, each episode, I offer up uh, an animal or animals for adoption. And uh, those are the ones that I will name for you if you want. Uh, you just need to let me know that you want them named uh, in the comment section and I will name them after you, but only the ones that I offer up in each episode. The last episode I offered up this guy and I offered up my four frogs. Now strangely, it's the first time it's ever happened, nobody asked for them. Um, so that's a little bit unusual, normally uh, everybody's uh, desperate to have these things named after them. So they're still up for adoption. Uh, we want the, this kind of ethereum here, which is a female, and uh, my four frogs. I think there's a mixture... There's definitely a mixture of male and female. I can't remember. I think there may be three males, one female. I'm not entirely sure now. But um, yeah, so four frogs and one kind of theorem still up for adoption. So if you want any of those named after you, uh, please do name in the comments. Now, I normally try and restrict it to one per person. So if you've had something named after you already, then um, I, you won't be selected probably. Um, so if you have had something named after you, probably don't bother asking for the time being, unless of course nobody wants these, in which case I'll offer it up to other people as well. But um, yeah, if you haven't had something named after you, we've got this uh, lovely calico theme here and uh, some frogs. Anyway, so let's go back on. So no naming uh, done this week, but uh, yeah, okay. So we want some ramps and we're going to want um, some walls and pillars and things. Let's go for the ramps first of all. I think I've got some ramps over on uh, the RG over here, which I'm uh, got a whole load of stuff which I got ready. Yep, so we'll have some ramps. That works okay. Um, so we'll have ramps, and because the, the ramps can now change into stairs, but obviously we'll leave them as ramps for the dinos to climb on. We can, the stairs will be for the visitors. That's pretty good. We'll have one more. We need definitely need one more into there like that. That looks that looks good. Okay, so pretty good. That that's that's they've got one, two three deep. They're only small, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon this is this is perfectly big enough and I can have this last one as a passageway for the visitors and that should be absolutely fine. So I'm going to get some walls and some pillars and things. We'll make this uh, look pretty nice. Okay, so uh, let's think about what we're doing here. So I've got some windows and I think we're going to put in some windows on the edge here like this one. So uh, this one, if you're having a uh, cup of coffee, um, a little picnic here, you can still sort of see in. I think that'll look quite nice. So we'll go along this back wall here with the windows. Uh, we'll have um, uh, windows, that's the one we want. We'll have two like that one. Now this area is gonna be, I'll, put, I'll place in this, I'll just show you this little, little area here. Use some of the triangle foundations to kind of give it a slightly different shape so we can kind of come out this kind of way. Uh, but these back three square foundations here will be uh, a little walkway for visitors to come by and just kind of have a little look in uh, if the uh, Kentosaurus are in the little shelter here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to place uh, windows. Uh, we're not going to have a completely glass because the Kentosaurus do need a little bit of privacy and I think that's how we're going to want it just like that. 
and we'll have that going along that way. So these ones will fit along all the way along like that. And then I guess I don't know whether to have these ones are walls or windows. I think maybe we'll have another window there and I guess well we might as well do windows all the way along I suppose. If we can get this one lined up. Okay yeah that looks pretty good. Uh, yeah so the water, you're going to be able to walk through here. We'll have some railings on this side and we'll have some more steps or something coming down here. Uh, that's pretty good. So let's start making this look really nice. Uh, we can follow the kind of um, design that we've used with the, the rest of this build by placing in some stone pillars in the corners. Now let's see if that can get this to work. So that yeah that's exactly where I want it just like that. And we'll put all these in all the corners. So we can get this a lot lower down. That looks about right. Hopefully that's at the same kind of level. Oh, I'm not too sure if it is. I think it is. I think that works. Now is that the same level? Oh, that's gone a bit higher. I think. Oh, now I think we'll get away with it. We'll get away with it if we can. We'll place in some other ones a little bit. Any further down? No, like that. That looks good. Okay. So then what we've got? I've got some small pillars which should hopefully be able to uh, go underneath. Oh, no, that shouldn't have happened. There we go. That's where we want it. And that will just go all the way down to the ground and make it look a bit better. Perfect. So this one we don't need to do because that kind of, you can't see it anyway. But over this side we'll definitely need to put in one going all the way down to the ground. Perfect. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then we'll get some wooden walls. Is that, I think actually, so it is at the right level. Yeah, I think that actually works. Oh no, I see. They're both a lot higher than this one. Oh, well, that's fine, because I guess if I do that, I think that will even it out. That looks better, doesn't it? I think that's right. So we'll stick that on the top there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then I think we should be able to have some walls going up like this. I'll have another set of walls like that. Yeah, I think that works quite well. Yeah, that looks like that's lined up perfectly. So if we can get this like that. Excellent. Yeah, this is going to look really nice, I think. It's quite tall, probably maybe taller than I would have wanted it, but I think... Uh, how much of the view does it block from here? It does block a little bit, but you're, you're kind of looking out of these guys. I think that's fine. No, 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 we'll, we'll go with that. We will definitely go with that. And then, then we'll block this one off with the walls, like that. Oh, where did that go? No, we don't need that there. <laughs> we'll take that back. There we go. I love that new new menu. I think it's quite nice. Perfect. Okay, so let's think about the little entrance here. Now I could either put walls on this side or I could put railings. So I think I will do the railings. I might put some glass windows in there to stop people from poking their heads and arms through and getting hit by the spikes. You know, we've got to think about safety a little bit. That's pretty good. So we also want a ceiling on. Now the ceilings over here were, were stone on these kind of bits, but it's all wood over on the animal enclosures like that. So yeah, we've got the we've got the windows, we've got pillars. Is there anything we could make? Could we maybe put pillars in the middle? Let's have a quick look at how this style is. Yeah, I think maybe we might actually even be able to make it look even better by putting another pillar down on. Oh no, let's try that again. Like that, perfect. And down, can we go down further? Perfect. Yeah, and then at the top. Yes, that's exactly what we want. That's really, really good. Now I'm not sure whether I'll do them all the way along the back, but definitely along the edges on the side here. That will look pretty good. Uh, number seven we want for the tall ones. That's excellent. So what do you think? Do we want to? I think we may well want it along there as well because it looks a little bit... Let's just see if this works. If I do that, perfect size. Yes, that's absolutely perfect. I'll do that one there, that one there. And there. Yeah, that looks really nice. That, that definitely looks nice. I'm happy with that. So we need a ceiling on there and we also want some railings. So I'm going to grab those things and then, uh, yeah, see it a bit. All right, guys. So first thing I want to do is put the railings on. That's the simplest job. We're going to do that one from this edge on here 
like this. I was debating whether or not to extend these triangle foundations to make this a little bit uh, wider, but I think I think it will look uh, okay how it is. Um, we'll bring this all the way along the edge uh, like that. Now I could either, now this is the choice that we have, I could either make some steps coming down here so they can carry on walking down here or just block it off. And I'm tempted actually, looking at how high it is and how well, actually, I could put a spiral staircase in. That might look quite nice. Yeah, let me let me try that. Just see how it, see how it looks. Okay, let's just see whether it's going to snap to it uh, first of all. Okay, that works. And then we need another one coming down like that. That actually looks pretty sweet. I quite like that. That does look good. Can we get rail? I don't suppose we can get railings coming down on the spirals, can we? No. They've got kind of invisible railings. Yeah, that's a shame. Okay. Well, no, I'm quite happy with that. So I guess I think if we do this... Yeah, there's some kind of invisible railings so you can't fall off. It's a shame that they're not as kind of visible as well. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll stick with that. Um, might be nice to kind of do some kind of artificial support there. I'm not too sure whether I'll be able to, but no. Okay, we're going to go with that. That's a nice way in and out from the other side. It looks pretty good. So I could either do that or I could do a wood staircase, but I think... Um, I'm not sure the textures I've loaded in on this. They, they look a little bit lackluster for the textures. Maybe there's something... We're still having a little bit of issues. As you can see, most of my textures are pretty are pretty good. They're all loaded in, so I'm happy with that. Uh, every now and again we get something that isn't, but I'm not too sure about those stairs. Anyway, let's forget that for now. Let's move on to the uh, the roof now. So I was thinking about maybe peaking it, but I'm not sure. We'll put in a kind of um, a flat roof to begin with because that will give me a foundation to actually build some walls down off it. And I'll show you what I want to do in a moment. Um, we're getting the issues where they're not always going where you think they're going to go, but we're doing okay. That's fine. And we'll get that one there. Oh, oh God. <laughs> this happened in the live stream a few weeks back and uh, people really got triggered about it. They didn't like the uh, <laughs> the, uh, the the wood going the wrong way around. Uh, so let's try and fit that in. That's better. There we go. Yeah, make people happy. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, but then what I want to do is get some... Uh, have I got any more walls on me? I don't. Let's go back to the country I think I stored some of the walls on there. Uh, Four walls, you may need more than that. I can't remember how how far across is this. One, two, three. Oh no, four might be just perfect actually. And then I want to go across like this, just to kind of so it's not quite so open. Just like that. That looks pretty good. I like that. Okay. And then yeah, so I could either leave it like that, or I could put a kind of uh, a peak on it. I guess I could either go not that one. I could either go like peek over across that way or I could peek it across the other way like that. Ah, um, oh, tricky. I don't know what you think. Uh, let's, try, let's have a look at... Oh god, where did that go? Uh, <laughs> I think that went under here. There it is. Let's try and just pick up the slope wall. Yeah, that's, uh, that's an issue sometimes. Let's have a look. If we can get up higher. That's where we want it. Yes, good. And then we can put some more... Oh no, I need to get some more walls. We'll do that in a moment then, and we'll stick on like that. Yeah, and then, oh, if we can get this right, yep, like that. So we'll kind of pick up that way. Yes, no, I think that'll definitely make it. That'll make it look good. Let's do that. So we'll do it on the other side as well. Let's get a little bit higher and get the positioning. Come on. Go on, you can do it. This side. Yes, yes. Got it. And there we go. So then let's get some... Oh, oh God, there we go. Yep, that's right. And then... Perfect. <laughs> right, let me grab another couple of walls. That's good. We can put another, just another two walls there. And oh dear, that's, that's not right, is it? Which... Oh God, which one's wrong? This... Uh... This one I think looks a little bit too high. Let's try it. If I, let me put some ceilings on the top and just see how that... Yeah, so that works okay, doesn't it? So I'm guessing it must be that one. That looks better to me. And then we can just have a little bit of, of flat. We don't want to go too high. 
Yeah, that looks, that looks perfect. So let's get the, the walls on the front. Oh, that's too high. Yeah, they're not right, are they? You can see that they're not lined up properly. Uh, this is the thing that we, an issue we have with the S Plus, is there are so many snap points, which is good, you know, in a way, because you can get things how you want them, but sometimes they're not quite right. We want the lower, that looks much better. And again, that seems to be, no, <laughs> oh no. That's one thing I hate the most about building, is when it shows you it's gonna place somewhere, and then when you place it, it places somewhere different. And uh, there's no real reason for it. <laughs> it just does it. There you go, it's exactly where we want. If I actually, do what, we'll try and place it wrong. Oh, and the place is wrong, the place is wrong. Sometimes that works. If you actually try and place it in the wrong place, sometimes it actually goes in the right place. Oh, it just doesn't want to go, does it? Right, let me try and get this done. Oh dear. One more time. That's where I want it. Okay, I got it at last. <laughs> got it. So final couple of ceilings. If we can get these in the right place. And another one there. Perfect. I think that is done. That looks pretty sweet. I'm happy with that. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, so let me think. I think that's just about done. Um, I think what I'm going to do is can put some glass windows in there. And maybe a little bit of decoration in here. I think that might look good. Okay guys, so we're done and I've put in a few little decorations, a couple of rocks, some ferns and bushes, uh, some ferns in the corner there, put a little bit of bamboo just in the corner here, I think it looks really nice, uh, put some more ferns over this way and inside that little hut I've put a couple of bits of bamboo, I think it looks quite nice, it's quite a nice kind of height for it and we've put in these kind of crop plots to make it look like they're actually growing out of something rather than coming out of the bare wood and uh, you put a feeding trough in there full of uh, berries uh, which they've been eating and uh, yeah, so that looks pretty good. I'm really quite happy with this. So that is the Kintosaurus uh, enclosure completely done. And I'm happy with that at all. So um, there's one other thing I want to do before we end the episode. And um, that is to something, another structure that was added in, in a recent update, uh, which will really enhance one of the exhibits, or not like that exhibit, one of these structures that I have here in the zoo. Let me zip over there and I'll show you what it is just before I do. Let's have a one last little look at the enclosure here uh, in conjunction with the other ones. I think that actually looks really quite nice. It's added on really nicely. I've tried to keep the, the same kind of architectural style with the pillars and the walls and uh, yeah I think it looks really really nice. I'm really really happy with that. Uh, so uh, as always give me some feedback. Let me know what you think of it. Um, and yeah so anyway let's go back over to the other bit. Okay, so we're over here by the toilet block. This was built a long time ago. Uh, we've got little toilet stalls and at the moment all I had in here was chairs. But of course in the recent update there has been added actual toilets. So we're going to replace these little chairs with proper toilets. Now I think, I said that I've never actually tried doing this, but I think they need to be attached to water tanks, water pipes rather. So what we're going to do is we're going to add on another foundation to the side here. And we should be able to place, uh, can we place the tank first and then attach the pipes to that? I think that's how it works. And then of course we can actually hide the pipes. So let's get some pipes out. Um, I never normally mess around with the pipes much. I've got some intersections and some straight ones. I think probably just need to do the intersections. Oh god yeah, that's something. The S plus one's always put at an angle, which is really weird. I don't understand why it does that, because it doesn't give you the option to rotate it. It's really weird. It's just, oh, I wish it was, oh, that's just stupid, isn't it? Um, what about if I do, if I do a straight one, is that all that can come out? Hmm. Okay, we may need to swap that tank out for like a normal, uh, not an S plus tank maybe? I don't know. Let me mess around with it for a bit. Okay, so I've got something half figured out, but it's not quite working the way I want it to. So I've got my water tank done, and I've uh, got all in the internal water pipes, so that they are just, um, you can see that uh, blue raindrop there means that the water is going there. So anything attached to this thing uh, will now be um, connected to the water tank, so it's kind of hydrated. And uh, all the way along we've got these things, so uh, can we see it? I don't know if it is it there. 
There we go. So it's now the internal piping uh, does go because of that. So it's absolutely fine. So we'll put these in. And so all these kind of uh, toilet blocks will now be irrigated and uh, you can now attach things to them. There we go. So that's all, all like that. OK, now there is a problem. Problem is toilets now snap like this sideways on right in the middle. Um, and that's really irritating. Uh, so that's, oh no, that's not what we want. We want number five. So we can have them right at the front of the doorway like that. Um, or yeah, that is the only way we can do it. They seem to sort of snap and I can't turn them around at all. There's no way of turning it around. It's just really irritating. So we're going to have to go like this for now, but at least it is a proper toilet. It's just uh, positioned a bit stupidly. I may have to play around with this uh, again and maybe try and figure out something. Maybe if we can get in, we'd have to we have to completely rebuild this block, I guess. And I'm not too keen on doing that. But anyway, that's the toilet. So I don't know whether we need to. Um, we can sit on the toilet, and uh, I can't remember what the button is because it's not Z anymore. Uh, I can't remember what the button is to do it now. I'm going to see if we could uh, get it to work. Hold on. Okay, so it should be the add button. Oh no, I don't think I'm ready. Oh, I'm not ready, I can't even do it. Oh, okay, well anyway, uh, we're sitting on the toilet here. Uh, we've built the Kentrosaurus exhibit. We've put the toilets in. I guess it's not too bad. It's a little weirdly positioned, but uh, you know, at least they're in. And uh, yeah, so I think we've done pretty well this time out. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it here today guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, join me back on, I think it should, hopefully it should be Wednesday for the Kentrosaurus Educational Special, that will be an interesting one, I haven't done too much research on them yet so I'll be interested to see uh, what they're all about. And uh, yeah, join me back for next Saturday for another episode of Shredder Zoo, but don't forget all the other videos that we do in between the weeks as well, definitely check them out as well, I really do appreciate it. So leave me some likes, leave me some comments if you liked it, and if you feel you have something to say, please do, uh, and I will see you out next time. Uh, so I'll see you then, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>